Yo, what's up guys? So today I thought I'd try out the Iron Man challenge, but instead of doing it on live, do it in classic. Now, if you don't know what the Iron Man challenge is, it's essentially a challenge, well yeah, to um, try and make leveling as hard as possible. I think Lazy Peon did it a few years ago. Fuck this dude! Fuck! Fuck! No! Okay, so here are the rules. You cannot die. Yep, you cannot use gear higher than white quality, so no greens, blues, epics, etc. No enchants, no talents. Ooh, that's gonna be painful. No elixirs, potions, or flasks. Damn. We can't join a party. Okay. Using mage portals and warlock summons not allowed. No dungeons, raids, arenas, or battlegrounds. Well, not arenas, because obviously it's classic. Uh, you can join a guild. Can't boost. No food buffs or external buffs. Wow. Um, okay. You can use mounts though, sweet. I think I'm gonna go Warlock, because I know how to play Warlock pretty well. And um, they get pets, which will really help me, because the Voidwalker can tank. Uh, that looks pretty good, that looks pretty good, right? All right, banana, uh, bub. How are you? See you around. See, I wonder how realistically how high I can get. I think I can get to 10, quite easy. But I think I'm gonna start struggling around like level 12, 13. As soon as we get into Westfall, I think it's going to become a lot harder, you know, especially when you get the, um, what are they called, the, the Harvest Watchers. That's going to make the, oh wait, I need the quest. That's going to make it very, very hard. Um, but yeah, I think 10 I can get to quite easy. The only ones I really have to watch out for until then are the, are the Murlocs in Eastvale. Um, what else? What else is really dangerous and up to level 10? Maybe the Prowlers, they could be a bit of an issue. Good Maybe. As soon as I get to Westfall, that's when it's going to get really tough. That's, that's when I'm going to struggle. What I might have to do is just grind loads of mobs until I sort of almost out-level the quests in Westfall. That could be an idea. Like I could just farm um, the gnolls or something in, these, in the... What's that area called? The area that's there. Is it Westbrook Garrison? I could, I could just do that until I'm like level 12, then go to Westfall. That could be an idea. So yeah, I, I wonder if anyone's actually tried the um, Iron Man challenge on a, on a private server, or even or even on Classic for that for that matter. Because, like I said, I know it got popular in Walls of Drano with like Laser Peon and Cobrax so to pop in, but I don't know if it's actually ever been tried in a vanilla setting. I don't, I don't know if it's actually even possible to do this. I think, like I said, I think I can get to maybe 20 if I really, really take my time and just grind mobs and um, just play it really careful. But I don't, know, I don't know if I can get to 60. It'd be really interesting to see how high I can actually get, though. Which is, which is why I've chosen the Warlock, because I, I know how to level a warlock, warlock pretty well. I've done it on private servers quite a lot in the past. And, you know, you get Voidwalker at 10, you get Imp at level 2 or 3. So, those pets can take aggro for you. So, if, if I'm going to die, the pets can take aggro, or the Voidwalker keeps aggro. And I'm just going to run. It's going to run. Do not want to die. Do not want to die. Because if I die, it's game over, man. Game over. I think my goal, my goal is level 20. If I can get to 20, I'll be impressed. That That's the aim, level 20. See, I meant to try this a long time ago. Um, when I when I played Nostarius, I really wanted to give the Iron Man Challenge a go back then on, on Nostarius, but it got shut down really quick. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to do it. And because none, none, none of my leveling partners are on today, so Ragtag's not on and Harry's not on. I thought now is the perfect time to give this a go. See how high I can get. So I plan to do this quite often. I want, like I said, I want to do this until I die. I'll see how far I can get. If I if I die and I enjoy it, maybe I'll I'll try a different class, like a paladin. I think a paladin could be really good. Um, see how I can get with a paladin, and obviously a hunter would be really good. But hunters get their pets at level ten, so that's the, that's the only issue. Because uh, from one to ten, hunter is not. At least I don't find it easy. I mean, it's easier than some classes. But the kiting mechanic can you can get yourself really fucked over sometimes. So I'm not sure how easy it would be on a hunter as you get pets at level 10. I think Warlock and Paladin will probably be the best ones to be honest. Are you doing Iron Man on PP ramp? Yeah man. I'm going full hardcore. Not only do I have to watch out for, you know, mobs and packs, big packs of mobs, I've also got to watch out for the horde. Alright, here's the last one, last cardboard vermin. And I should be level three after I hand these in. Come on, you little bastard. There you go, nice. Okay, hand these two in. Yeah, I'd definitely be level three. And then I get my imp, 
because I go do that quest over by the Defias, and then it'll be even easier. My imp can take the aggro. Boom, solid. Hello. Yep, uh, continue. Boots, all boots. Safe travels. And there it is, level three. Oh yeah, so here I've got to be very careful. When I first died, I died here a lot. Because with, the, with these Defias, if you pull one and you pull another one, usually a third one's coming, you know? They're everywhere. They got, I saw they've got a big aggro range as well, like bigger than most people. Okay. So I'm trying to conserve my mana because I want to just kind of push all the way through. Or should I get my imp first and then come back? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to get my imp first and then come back. Alright, let's go get the imp. Over rightly, the imp is over here. It's a little camp. Yeah, sit down there, okay. Come on, little Defias thug. Let me burn you alive. I I cast one more. Yeah. And then get my knife out. Fucking strength the bitch. Boom. To the, that was to the face as well. Hell yeah. Well, that warlock's pulled the pack for me. Hell yeah. Should I give him a hand? I probably should, right? Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a hand, mate. I'll give you a hand. Die. Come on. Oh, he's dead. Oh, shit. This is not good. Oh, am I going to die already, really? No, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. I think. If I, if I emulate both of them and just run around, they should just die the dots, right? I'll leave you first. Boop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Paladin or warrior, help me! Oh fuck! No, 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 no. Oh, come on! You're not gonna die. No, cause she's dead. Oh, oh. I may pull the aggro back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we got it. We got it. Whew. How embarrassing would that have been if I had died at level three? <laughs> okay, but we're good. We're good. And I saved this. I oh, know he died, didn't he? I tried to save this guy. I tried to do a good deed. Luckily I lived, but it could have backfired. All right, if I remember right, the book's here. There it is, yeah. I'll tell him I tried to save him. I tried to save you. Okay. Quick go hand this in and come back and do the rest of the quest. Cause it'll be a lot easier if I have my imp to do the defiance quests. There's a certain technique you can do as a, as a warlock. You send your send your imp in to get the first hit, and do a triangle formation. So that way, if one of you gets aggro, it just bounces between you. See so if I get aggro now. If I try and get aggro, come on. Let me have aggro. Yeah, so now she's got run to me back, and then when the imp hits his fireball, they run back. But yeah, that's one of the main reasons I chose a warlock because I know as soon as I have my void walker or my imp, I can do some. I got a good chance of living pretty much. The next best one for me would probably be a paladin, and then a hunter after that. But like I said, hunters, the issue with hunters is 1 to 10. You don't have a pet for 1 to 10, so that's that's the big issue of hunters. So I reckon I reckon in classic, warlocks and paladins will be the best. Easily. Okay, we'll, tr we'll try... Should we try 3? We'll try 3, okay, we'll try 3. Imp, pull this guy. Immolate. One shadow bolt. And now, immolate. One shadow bolt. Immolate. Oh, the ding, the ding is gonna make this way easier. <laughs> yeah, I think I can take on three. I think I can take on three. Yeah, I can do three. I'm pretty sure. And that's the quest finished. Let's go hand that back in. I've got some robes too. Oh, and a belt. Swag. Yeah, I think this is what works really good as well. They can just chain pull. So when I get a void walker, it'd be even easier. So the issue now is mana. Um, so now I have my life tap and aggro. So when I get void walker, this will be so easy. I definitely, I definitely think I can get to about 15, 20. I think after that, it's going to get really, really hard. But I think 20 is a good goal to get, I think, maybe. Or maybe I could get to... I'm not sure a 30 is possible. I'm not sure a 30 is possible. De 20 is definitely possible though, I think. Whenever I come to Elwyn Forest, I always get massive nostalgia. It was the first zone I ever saw. I used to just spend full shit out of mana, whoops. When I first started, I literally would just do Elwyn Forest over and over again. I would come in, 
make a new character, level up in Elwyn Forest, get to Westfall, make a new character. I used to do this, I used to do this for like months on end. I leveled every character probably like four times, every, every class four times to like level 12, just doing Elwyn Forest over and over again. So coming back to it now, it's just like quite homely in a weird way. Makes you feel quite like, oh, Elwyn Forest. Cat and Mop were insane. Yeah, Cat and Mop were good expansions. Well, I, I didn't like Cat too much, but Mop was an amazing expansion, especially for PvP. But what I think what put me off Cat is because they changed the world. All the quests and areas that I loved just got, you know, wiped. So I think that is what put like a stale taste in my mouth when it comes to Cat. Because looking back on it, I don't think it was as bad as I thought it was at the time. But because for me, until I got into PvP and you know, like rated PvP. I, my favorite part of the game was the leveling. I used to just level all day. I used to make new characters all the time and just level. So when they removed all the quests and zones that I loved and all the little stories that I liked, it, it, it really pissed me off. I, I didn't, Cataclysm was the first time that I took a long, long break from the game. Like vanilla, BC and Wrath, I played pretty much the entirety. And then Cata, well, at the start I couldn't play Cata anyway because my laptop broke so I had to wait until I could afford a new laptop um, so I missed the launch but when I came back and saw the world was changed I was like nah I'm done I'm done I, I eventually came back I came back for the Zorgarub thing I'm not sure when that was exactly was it 4.2 4.3 I think it's 4.2 right I think I came back at the end of 4.2 um, so my friends were playing they convinced me to come back but yeah Cataclysm, what really ruined it for me, I think, was just the fact that they changed the whole world. And I'm so happy that it's now back. Like, I've been wanting this moment for such a long time. So, now that it's back, it feels good again. It feels good again. This quest right here was so hard on the first two days of uh, Classic launching. There's like a million people here just trying to get his head. But now there's like, what, one person? No, I can't, I can't, sorry, I can't accept your group. Sorry, doing Iron Man challenge so no groups sorry buddy if I could invite you I would I almost clicked yes as well if I clicked yes I would have fucked the entire challenge at level 4 which is not good okay so I'll talk about my, my launch experience right so I was a bit of an idiot I forgot to log in to Mr. Q's well I mean I forgot to log in I was in at 8 but I forgot that you could stay on your character so I logged out Went off to do some things, had a shower, you know, got some food, walked my dog. Came back at half ten, and I realised, that's when I remembered, oh yeah, you could you could stay logged in the whole time, so I shit myself. Ran upstairs to um, log in, um, and it was like a four hour queue. No, it's a two hour queue, it's a two hour queue, two, three hours. So wait, 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 for the, wait for the queue, got in, and then, the second I get into the queue, my internet just shuts down for an hour. You might, you might remember, if you were in the stream, you'll, you'll remember this. So my whole internet shut down for an hour. So I, I missed, um, you know, if you if you log out for five minutes or you DC for five minutes, you skip the queue if, you, if you're already in. But because it was an hour, I had to get back in the queue, so it was another two hours. So I thought, fuck, I'm just going to bed. And then, then the next day when I got up, same thing again, pretty much. I got up quite early, about nine o'clock, logged in, eight hour queue. 8 hour queue, then I DC'd again. I've never had any issues with my internet until Classic launch. <laughs> so it wasn't actually till the, the end of the second day that I actually even get to play Classic. So it was a bit of a kick in the balls, but it's alright, we're here now. We're finally in. My main's level 22, I think. I've got 22 Druid, and then I've got a um, level 16 Hunter that I play when my friends aren't online. And then I have another 10 Paladin, which I play with my other friends. Basically, I've got three groups of friends who play this game. All who don't know each other. But because I like leveling so much, I don't mind just playing different characters. So my Druid's level 22, which I'm playing with my brother and Ragtag. Um, my Hunter, which I'm playing for myself. Because it's really fast on your own, and it's fun to play on your own with a Hunter. And then a Paladin, which I'm playing with my friend Jack. And then this guy, which is my Iron Man challenge guy. So, I don't think I'm going to get 60 for a long time. I don't think it's going to be a while, it's going to be a while. But I don't really mind, I'm not, I'm not rushing what to 60. I Originally I was going to, 
I, I was originally going to go, you know, 60 yeah, in a week. But because the issues I had at launch, it just it just put me off. What so I thought, you know what, I'm already behind. I'm just going to chill, enjoy myself, um, and just relax on the way up to 60. I, I wouldn't mind doing a hard push this week, actually, because I go back to work next week. So I wouldn't mind doing a, just a week push. But I'm not too fussed if I get to 60 or not. I'm not, I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to rush it. Because I was going to originally, but yeah, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Should we say goodbye to Northshire? Slash farewell. Bye, Northshire. Uh, put the Goldshire. Get myself a nice shield, you know. Be careful. Get this quest here. You need something? Alright, there's one more quest, right? In here with the candles. Boop. Yeah, here we go. Hey there. See you later. Nah, and this boy. How in. are you? Ooh, what should I get? I'll get some water. Water's always helpful. See you around. I made my oh. in. Safe travels. And I'm probably going to end it there because I can hear my dog downstairs crying. Want to go for a walk? So I'll see you guys later.